welcome back to being Mrs. S. Today, um, we're going to be doing a get ready with me episode. Um, I'm going to be doing a no makeup makeup look, um, or soft glam, so to speak. Uh, cause there's no such thing as a no makeup makeup look if you have on makeup, but generally the look is... It's supposed to look very clean, not a lot of product on the face, and just looks like your, it's your natural look. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, if you're new to my channel, if you're just watching, catching up my videos for the first time, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like, comment, uh, hit the notification bell so that you can get notifications every time I upload new content. Uh, before I continue, I want to send love to a number of my friends. I have at least four or five friends who have lost their parents or loved ones during this um, Corona, COVID-19 period. It's especially sad because they're away from them because of the stay at home and um, social distancing and staying in place. Um, order. Some of them are not able to attend their uh, parents' funeral. It's difficult to not have seen them during the uh, painful time when they're ill, and it's even more difficult that you can't be there to see them off. But um, my love goes out to my friends and anyone who has loved, who has lost any loved ones during this period. It's really sad. Um, but um, you are my thoughts. All my love and um, my prayers are with you. So, um, let's get into the the uh, I guess tutorial. Um, so I've already primed and I've already primed my face with my uh, go-to products: the rose water, um, my mineralize and my base. So if you wanna know how I do that, go ahead and go. I'm gonna put a link to that video, the first one I did so that you can see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump in to the tutorial parts of this. You've already seen in my other videos. I'm not gonna spend time telling you why I'm doing what I'm doing as far as my eyebrows and all of that are concerned. I hope everyone is doing okay. I think a lot of places now they've they've um, lessened the order, or a lot of places are being are allowed to reopen. But now you're required to wear masks to go into public spaces and things like that, which really is for your own safety because this virus. I don't think anyone has a handle on it. Nobody really knows how it acts. It's quickly mutating. Every other day you hear something new and how it's affecting a different subset of, of uh, people. So definitely cover yourself. Um, some people have asked how my weight loss, um, my weight loss journey is going. I'd say it's going okay. So far, so good. Although this month, which was the month where I was supposed to be kicking it into, uh, into high gear, I have, um, literally been eaten up a storm and we've, uh, my BDD and I discovered a um, deliver service. They deliver alcohol. We just deliver. We just discovered them the other day, and we ordered some alcohol, some wine. We love wine in this house. Some red wine. Of Cabernets and Bordeaux's and 
Oh, I love that. So we just ordered that and I've been on the weekends we indulge and I think I did a little bit more indulging that was necessary. Okay, can't find my two. quite happy um, that my smooners are appreciating the content that I am putting out I got a few um, messages that uh, some of my smooners applied uh, some of these tutorials specifically the makeup and the baking Oh, even the my hair threading even though I didn't show how I did that and I, I did say I was going to do one episode but my scalp is begging because I think I did it too tightly the last time but people have applied some of those uh, processes to their own routine and it's actually giving me that, making me very pleased that um, I am adding a little bit of value to your lives. Even the, um, which one was it? The one that I did, the uh, cooking, With Mrs. S. That one a lot of people loved. So I'm going to try to do more of that. Because I'm actually, I'm a really good. The savory stuff. That's me all day. Baking is not something that I was ever into. I mean, I loved watching my mom bake. My sister. <sighs> She should be on one of those, uh, those, uh, she should be like cake boss because she is excellent. She did the groom's cake, um, for my wedding. So bacon is not, so we, obviously it's a, a skill that comes naturally cooking or doing stuff in the kitchen. It's a skill that comes naturally because we got it from our mama. We had beautiful soul recipe. Um, but the the only thing, the things that I ever baked were like meat pie and whew, my banana nut bread, which stay tuned. I'm about to probably do that with a little twist. Um coming soon. Okay. So my eyebrows are tricky. Like I said before, they do their own thing. I need to get more close and personal. So basically I am going to use my um nc42 pro longwear from mac and i'm just going to put that all over my lid which i think i overdid it let me grab that real quick before i yeah I'm just going to use this.
I go to um, setting powder is the air spun. That's what I use. I'm trying out the Sasha Buttercup for the first time. So let's see. Clearly, I use Hushabai a lot, but I'm going to use Breezy. And Breezy is kind of like a rosy, I don't know what to call it, not quite pink, but so I smile just to see where it's gonna go, but I don't apply the blush while I smile. Because I don't want to have the blush lower than where it needs to be. And so just drag it across my face. Everything is high points, high points. Right? Same thing here, smile. And then we'll start remembering this. So I always take it from the corner of my brows. And depending on how snatched you want your nose to look, that's how further in on the bridge and the length of the nose you're going to take it. So I'm going to do it this way. And
I'm going to use this Fenty Beauty matchstick to line my lips. This is the finished look. Uh, the finished no makeup makeup look. So basically there isn't a lot of color that is different from my natural, I guess, complexion. Um, and then I added the lashes, which to be honest with you, I probably didn't need the lashes for this look because my eyes lashes. I like that eye better when I compare the two. Um, I am going to add just a little more. I don't know. Should I just... Yeah, I don't think this is working since I put the kajal. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the kajal all over the bottom lash line. Yeah. 
there. That's the finished look. Okay, well, thank you, Smooners, for joining me again. If you like this look, thumbs up below, like, subscribe, share, and um, I will definitely try to do more uh, makeup tutorials and try to use different products um, than what I typically use on a regular basis, which is just Estee Lauder. So the new products I used in this that I've never used before, the Sasha uh, Buttercup Setting Lotion, and um, yeah, I think that was it. That was the only new thing I used. And then um, this is a new because I've I used I would use that for my lips, but um, I used the foundation, the matchstick as a lip liner. Um, basically, all makeup can be used on every part of your face. Um, so yeah. All right. So thank you for joining me and I will circle back on my next video. Love you, Smooners.